So, I'm recording this video on my Canon M50 over USB 2.0 and I'm capturing it to, to OPS through a program called Entangle. It should be a little bit smoother now. Less drop frames. Let's get rid of this loopy animation here. There we go. A little less system resources. Let's go to the desktop. Ooh, look at the desktop. So you see I got OBS running and Entangle. That's how I'm getting the real-time feed from the camera. In fact, if I go to the camera, I'm going to show you real quick. Let me grab this uh, little Raspberry Pi Zero. So if I can hold the Raspberry Pi Zero up, the autofocus, the dual pixel Canon autofocus will kick in. And that's awesome. And if I take it away, my face is in focus again because it tracks, it tracks face. I realize the mouse isn't over the screen. That's something I got to figure out. Put the mouse on the screen anywhere and you can see it. But as long as the mouse is not on that side of the screen, and I'm doing things like this, uh, it all makes makes sense. All right. Is the Canon streaming solution I have set up perfect? No, not by a long shot. But is it amazing? I think it is. I think it is. Let's take a peek at the desk. Let me show you Entangle. This, this is Entangle. Oh, let me get rid of the face in the corner. This is Entangle. Um, I actually got this program off of um, FlatHub. It might be in a repository. I know the version that was in Debian that I installed before was a little bit on the older side. So I grabbed this one. The idea behind this is supposed to be a camera remote control to let you do things like framing your shots um, and taking your pictures. In fact, you can hit the little capture an image button, which normally was supposed to work. But for some reason, that's the only thing that doesn't work this application which is funny because it's like the main feature of this application is for it to you know snag pictures but what i'm using it here for is not bad either i what i did is um i have this this window here and i capture this window and i just crop out the stuff around the sides and um let me uh make a full screen over here and then minimize and you'll see that it works fairly good. Like, is, is it the best picture quality that you can get out of an M50? No, but man, having that uh, autofocus over USB 2, autofocus over USB 2, and no capture card. This is all done just right through a cheap USB cable right into the computer. So if you have an M50, or I think think of other of the M series that um, that can do this, but the M50 can definitely do it as I'm doing here. And um, yeah, um, just grab a copy of a uh, of Entangle. Oh, <laughs> I resized it. See, a uh, copy of Entangle and and go nuts. And it works works pretty good. If you pair this with um, what's the name of that plugin? Well, let me uh, let me make this full screen minimize and turn, turn my little face back on. If you pair this with the video for Linux loopback, it's the V4L, there we go. Video for Linux loopback. Now this, I'm, 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 I'm hesitant to go into too much detail on how this plugin works, cause it is finicky as fuck. And what may work for me may not work for you. But um, this basically lets you send video packets as a virtual webcam. It's a kernel module though. So the good news is Debian has the kernel module built into their repositories where it will build the module against your kernel and you're good to go. It doesn't actually take that much longer to encode. But there's also video for Linux loopback OBS. As you can see, you can see where this is going here. Um, Video, where's the, uh, there it is. No, that's that's just the regular thing. We want the sync file. I see it. The plugin is down here. Ah, yes, video for Linux sync. Now I've used this before. Again, finicky as fuck. Finicky as all get out. But once you install this little module, 
Um, you can start broadcasting directly from OBS. So in the way that I am capturing like this right now, if I'm using the Video for Linux uh, module and the Video for Linux sync plugin for OBS, I can grab this view along with, you know, all my other OBS settings, and I can send that directly to Skype, um, to Jitsi, to Zoom. Um, I don't know what else is there. <laughs> I don't know what normal people use. I use it, usually use this through Jitsi, and uh, when I do use it, it works really good. Um, yeah, so there you go. The video, video for Linux loopback, um, Entangle, which is the secret sauce right here for video capture um, over USB on a fairly modern uh, Canon camera. And it gives you all the features like the dual pixel autofocus does not require a USB capture card. It's basically USB 2 data though. So you work element. If I make the screen too big when I launch this, like like if I if I make it full screen and then turn off the screen and wiggle it around a little bit, whatever size that it is when I re-enable, this is the resolution it jumps. So I usually bring it about here, a little bit smaller. Cause my, cause USB 2.0. The little adjustment here, just play with it just so it knows the reload. There we are. But then I I make it full screen on my second screen, minimize, and then select the face. And that's like, keeps it from being jittery on my, my little uh, ThinkPad. But as you can see, it's not a terrible system. It works pretty good. Um, unlike the video for Linux loopback, which is, you know, check out the documentation, dig into it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to really go into it in any meaningful way, but, um, for just OBS capture, this is like the easiest. And I mean, come on, man. I mean, look at that. Look at that autofocus. Look at it. Look at it rocking and rolling. Look at it. Ah, so good. So, um, this is backwards. Let's flip that. There we go. There we go. So, real quick recap here. I have OBS with video, uh, video for Linux sync setup is synchronizing and I'm capturing capturing the screen with entangle so here we go entangle which is capturing the video into OBS I have the video for Linux synchronization uh, module enabled and the sync application running in OBS so that when I go on my video chat conversations um, I can get this and again showing off the magnificent uh, dual pixel autofocus right in your favorite video chat program. Um, yeah, and it's it's working. Down in the comment, I drop the module mod probe that I use to set this up to make it easy. And so far my testing, it removes most of the finickiness away from it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I, I found this this uh, the script from somebody else. And I just try to make sure it runs every time I want to use um, OBS as my webcam in Linux. All right, after playing with um, the video for Linux uh, loopback tool, maybe I will make a little video on how to get that set up. Again, um, your mileage may vary. It's, I've had it work really good sometimes. And I've had it just not work at all. And I don't know what the difference is sometimes. So uh, that's something to think about. All right, guys. Peace.